So now I'm going to start a new layer. And on this layer, I'm going to put in the, the dress. So her dress is blue. So let's go into the pen mode. Take it up to the max and just start painting with a blue. Okay, now remember this is the under painting. So I'm just plunking the colour on. And it doesn't have to be I'm not interested in shading, I'll do that in my second layer. clipping layer but at the moment all I want to do all I want to do is what time did Scott go out? so this blue is going on lovely Making sure that I'm painting only the, the dress, this collar on the dress. This is a studio brush that I'm using, and it's a bit elasticy. It's sort of like stretches out then snaps back I'm kind of used to it now but I like it it just goes on lovely if I change the thickness it's too thick might get a bit of bleed into the areas I don't want so here we go when you're zoomed in you can see all the little snippets where you might have missed it doesn't really matter because when you zoom out <coughs> they kind of disappear there we go let's just get this all in here a little bit thicker and get away with that's brilliant the beauty of the app, the Procreate app, is if you go over the line, it's not a problem. You can either erase it or just go back. That's a good little little trick that I picked up watching somebody else's YouTube channel. Where if you make a mistake, like there, I've gone over C. If I do two taps, two finger tap, just let the go back button, see? Isn't that nifty? So that's that top half done. Let's just work on this bit. I really do find that creating something that you want to do first on an iPad before you paint it saves a lot of heartache. So if you can come across issues that if you go straight into the paint and you think, oh, there's a clash of colour here, I shouldn't have painted it that colour. Oh, this doesn't look too right. And you can alter it the way you want it in the app. So when you come to sketch it out on your canvas or do a watercolour, you've solved all your problems. Hopefully before they, they've risen. I'll go a little bit bigger here, look, see? Got a big wide expanse. Juice it a little bit. There we go. Let's finish this colour off.
and the beauty is you never have to rotate the iPad but you can rotate the picture which is absolutely great this is a lovely um, French aquamarine blue it's almost a cobalt But it's like I said, this is the underpainting colour. And when I come to put darker and lighter on, it gives me a, a lovely mid tone to work off. There we go. Now done. Just on the shoulder. Right, I'm going to do the same to the dress. Okay, I'll probably speed this up. Right. So now. I can confidently say I've done the dress. There you go. Right, so the dress is done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new layer, layer 7, and I'm going to make that into a clipping mask layer. So anything I paint on this layer, it'll only paint on the blue, not the turquoise colour of the apron. Okay, so that's the beauty of that. So I've gone into my colour and the first thing I want to do is maybe get a little bit darker. Yeah, that's it. So let's get some darkness in here. Okay. Maybe yeah. There. Um, maybe some darkness there. Underneath this colour. Right, and underneath the neck. On the side where the shadows would be. Uh, maybe just a little bit. There we go. Just get those shadows in. Maybe a bit of shadow here. Maybe a bit of shadow in there. Coming down here and maybe. That's it, let's go on to my little brush, my smudgy brush. Let's give it a bit more strength. There we go. Oh, look at that, that's going on lovely, see? Just going over my lines that I did with my smudgy brush. brush. That's it, lovely. Let's go back to my ordinary brush. Let's get some darks in here. And maybe a little bit of dark in here. And just a little bit in here, like see. That's it. Right now, let's get me smudgy brush. And just smudging some of these edges. Beautiful. Go back to my brush. I might widen it a little bit. Just do a little bit on the inside. There we go. Change the opacity level and the size of my brush. Um, 
bit of shadow in here, look. See, maybe a bit of shadow in there. Maybe a bit of shadow here. Oh, that looks great. Let's have a big fat shadow just here underneath and another big sh fat shadow there. Oh, this is looking good. I like it. Bring down my level, my um, size of brush. And let's just. a little bit of light so I just want to get some nice darks in here now do you see where I've just gone over I've like bled into the if I use my razor It'll just erase the clip art layer that I've used. Okay, let's just add a little bit in here. Just a little bit in there, maybe. That's it. Let's get a, a wider one here and just add a little bit just there. Brilliant. Now with my eraser, I can go in and just bring back a little bit of the hemline, see? Isn't that lovely? Let's bring some of this hemline. hemline. In line, Looks like a chicken cree. Let's just reduce some of this, tidy this up. Right, I'm going to go into my little smudgy brush and just blend this in. See, just blend in these edges. Straighten them up where they needed to be straightened. Let's just blend it on this side. Oh, I love this smudgy brush. Okay, right now that I've got my darks in, I want to get my highlights in. So let's got my pen colour. This is the colour that I started with, this French Aquama marine right so i want to go lighter so let's change the hue a bit lighter that's it and let's see what we can do here this is, the, this is as light as we want to go i think yeah let's try this so um, opacity is about 18% and my size my brush is about five and I'm still in airbrush soft airbrush so let's oh look at that see that edge I can increase it to about 12 13% oh that's lovely see you get a lovely sheen Let's just put one on the that edge there, reduce it onto this one. Wow, look at that sheen, eh? That's lovely. And let's just get a Bit on the edge there. Oh, it's just just too wonderful. It really is. Let's go back to this blue. And let's just tiny it up a little bit. That's it. Nicely. Let's go to my sheen colour. And let's put a big sheen 
low opacity big brush size just in the middle see and maybe one there eh? okay that's it brilliant and let's come along here let's just reduce the brush size uh, let's just put a sheen along this edge that's it use me smudgy brush maybe just uh, there we go bring it out let's get some sheen on this side brush and do a big sheen whoops big sheen coming down there see what's oh, going on lovely I like this just using a light and a dark over your base color see let's just do the edges of the Excellent, just starting on the turquoise because there won't be any colour, but then, then just sweeping it up, bring it down, increase the strength. There we go, see? Wow! Look at that! Just add some highlights. Brilliant. Maybe a little bit. Whoops. Went on the eraser there. There we go. Let's change the opacity, make it softer, a bit wider, not so wide. There we go. Coming down just a little bit on the shoulder, crease, and then just that's it. Let's just get a highlight on this edge. There we go. That's looking all right. Back to my razor. Must have touched something. I think there's a setting in. In the preferences. Or if you double tap or single tap, it goes to the last two years, which would be the eraser brush. Let's just get an edge onto this collar. Change the opacity, increase the thickness, and let's just do a, a few sweeps. I love the way you can start to paint off the area you want to paint and sweep into it. That is just, if you try and do that on a painting, of course you'll see wherever you start, but because it's a clipping mask, it'll only paint on area let's go back to me darker color there we go. wow get me a little smudgy brush probably won't need it that much let's go to a lighter color let's just make it a little bit lighter Maybe just try and get a 
Do a little more highlight, see? That's better. Just, just in a few places. Maybe on this side. And on that side. There. Check the, oh, look at that. A bit like a velvet effect going on here. I do like it. Let's just bring out these hems, these highlights on the folds. There we go, see? If I increase the opacity, increase the, that's a nice big area, I'm just going to highlight that a little bit lighter, see, maybe do the same on this, there we go, just the size. Oops, a bit of a streak. If you turn it too fast, you tend to get that little streaky mark. Right, let's bring the opacity right up. Um, oh, I don't like that's too light. Right, I'm just going to leave it. Maybe the opacity halfway. That's it. Lovely little hemline going on there. Thank you. These are looking good. These hemlines. Excellent. Let's just tidy up some of this. I think I'm on the wrong layer for the what I'm rubbing out. That's better. Go back. Right. So there I've done the dress. See? So there's me base coat. The blue, that's the highlights. So let's take the base course off. And because the clipping mask only works on what's there, if it's not showing, it's not, not showing at all. See? So I've got the lovely blue. I've got the apron done. And now that I'm ready, I'll just leave that layer at the moment. I may want to touch up a little bit here and there, but I'm quite happy at the moment with that. I want to start maybe doing the skin. Okay, but I just wanted to show you how I'm using the layers in Procreate and the clipping mask to colour in the two pieces of clothing that I've done so far. I'll do the rest of it in another part, but I hope you've enjoyed it and give you an insight on how I colour in on these creations, the Penny Henny, okay? So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And wherever you are, whatever your situation, if you can, just keep painting and drawing and sketching. Have a nice day.